you know, I think primary care physicians have a good relationship with their patients. They know their patients well. Um, often when you go to a cardiologist, he, you know, cardiologists have been unfortunately under a lot of pressure because not only is a reimbursement lower than it used to be so they have to spend less time with each patient, uh, but electronic medical records, like that's like a sinkhole for time and energy because you wind up spending half of your of your time in front of your computer actually typing. It's a good thing my mother was a secretary because I learned how to yeah. ten finger. I learned how to uh, type with ten fingers, and I mean otherwise um, it would take me forever. So cardiologists maybe not doesn't they don't spend as much time. That's where the primary care physician might you know have a better relationship and can can understand the nuances of the patient's symptoms and what other problems need to be treated. But in reality. Right. There are a lot of decisions that need to be made, you know, in terms of whether to try to control the patient's rate or whether to get their rhythm back to normal, whether they need to be on blood thinners. I mean, those are um, not not easy questions to answer. And, uh, you know, that's where it you know, may be better for patients to see a specialist who's used to dealing with the problem all the time. Right. Right. Of course, the first thing someone will do is, you know, take their pulse, check their blood pressure. uh, And and if their pulse is normal, you know, they may go ahead and do an electrocardiogram just to see if there's something going on, if there's some sign that maybe there's a a blood flow problem, like a blockage or something. Uh, But, you know, most most of the time, you know, the history is so important. You know, if somebody says to me, my heart feels funny. Well, what do you mean by that? Well, yeah. how could you describe it? You know, is it feel this or that? Is it, you know, do you having pain? What kind of pain is it? Is it burning? Is it stabbing? Is it pressure? Is it radiate? Does it go here? Go there? So the history taking is another dying art, unfortunately, you know, because the, the doctors who are in training today, unfortunately, have gotten used to relying on tests. Right. You know, instead of listening with a stethoscope, they'll order an echocardiogram. Yeah. And, yeah. and you know, that that is, you know, so unfortunate because the, the history and physical will give you the answer, you know, a good part of the time. When I hear the term personalized medicine, aren't we just coming full circle back to getting someone's full history? Is that what we're doing with this personalized medicine? Well, you know, in the in the good old days, that's all doctors had to rely on. You know, history, physical, listening with a stethoscope. They didn't have all these fancy uh, testing gadgets, echoes, and cardiac MRIs, and things like that. So they relied upon history, uh, but you know, unfortunately, it is a lost art, as I as I mentioned. You know, and and I'm always trying to pull the residents into that, that, uh, well, did you ask them about this? Did you, ask, what happened before then? What happened after then? You right. know, so the, the, that's part of the learning process in medicine. And, uh, you know, hopefully when people graduate and go on to practice, they'll remember those lessons and, you know, use it in their practice, but not everybody does. Not everybody wants to take the time. Hey, thanks for watching. Why not check out the entire interview? It's on the screen now. Or subscribe to the channel for more great guests. This is Big Northern Bear, out.